So this is supposed to be a new augment mod review video. But, it turns out that Ivara's new augment is something more, which is why I decided to dig in deep and make a new build for Ivara. Probably, you might have seen my video on a stealth bomber Ivara build, which mainly uses the lens to nuke enemies. It's a pretty damn good build and I had tons of fun playing it but, playing with Ivara with her new augment gives me that feeling that my previous nuke build will be outdated. If you're looking for an Ivara nuke build, then this is the most updated video you are looking for. This is the Ivara nuke them all build. A build with lots of nuking power but less dangerous. Ok, let's begin this video. Before I show you my latest Ivara nuke build, I will begin by simply describing, and giving you the nitty gritty details of the new augment mod. Ivara's new augment is for her Artemis bow which is called Concentrated Arrow. It basically replaces Artemis bow's multiple projectiles with a single arrow. The good thing about this new augment is that, on headshots, the arrow has added critical chance and explodes in a 7 meter radius. The bad side is, this single arrow is incapable of utilizing punch through. When you equip this augment mod, you will basically fire just one arrow instead of the usual seven. Also, the single arrow deals the same amount of damage as an individual one without the augment. But you can equip multi-shot mods on this to make the arrow split in two. With a couple of tests, it seems that charging the shots does not increase the damage at all instead, it does increase the projectile speed. So it is wise to charge when you are trying to hit an enemy in a far distance. Although it may not have punch through, the arrows does explode when you successfully hit a target in the face. It deals 500 blast damage when not modded and, based from my tests, it looks like the blast doesn't gives any status to the affected enemies. Which means that the one that you hit with the arrow will have a status effect, but not the enemies that are damaged by the area of effect blast. However, there is an exemption to this as it looks like it force procs impact damage and best part is, Hunter Munitions does work with concentrated arrow, dealing slash and bleed procs to enemies hit by the blast. Aside from all of that, it seems that concentrated arrow's damage is affected by ability strength while its blast radius is affected by ability range mods. In addition, your prowl ability does synergy really well with this new augment as it gives you more damage. One problem in using this augment though, is it requires you to be a marksman and hit a target's head before you can take advantage of that sweet crit chance and area of effect blast radius. But is it really a problem? Well. It's not. You don't really have to be a marksman to hit a target's head with Ivara. Remember that she has her sleep arrow which immobilize the enemies in a few seconds. Giving you enough time to snipe an enemy and land that headshot you need to proc this augment mod. It's really impossible to miss a head with Ivara and I'm definitely sure that you'll love that AOE explosion. Ok, now we're done with the augment mod. Let's now proceed on how to mod my new Kivara. For my new Kivara, I have lots of range and efficiency, with little strength and duration. Well it's really a personal preference as I just love the AOE explosion of concentrated arrow. Also, I choose to have max efficiency so I will have no problem using my Artemis bow, and as well as Prowl. I did give this build a max out fleeting expertise and remove streamline, then replaced intensify on that slot but it seems that it's not ideal for my playstyle. I constantly move and I usually shoot my sleep arrow also which is why I need lots of efficiency in my build. Now I don't want any negative stats on my build aside from duration, which is why I choose to have transient fortitude and power drift. This build does give me 1.44 headshot damage on my prowl which is pretty good in my opinion. And like I said earlier, I love the explosion of this new augment, which is why I choose to have 235% range with overextended and stretch on my build. 
Now this is not really needed but if you have them, try to equip arcane energize and arcane resistance on your arcane slot. Energize is really amazing especially when it comes to high level content while resistance is extremely useful in case there are venomous enemies in your area. As you can see in my build, I don't have any survivability mods and I only rely on my prowl in terms of survivability. I can avoid slash damage by staying invisible, knockdowns by simply walking out of my warframe as an operator. But in most cases, toxic enemies are really bothersome in my part. Arcane Ice is also a good option too for those enemies that gives heat damage. To make this build work, we need to properly mod our weapon too. For my weapon, I choose Lens. Well, it doesn't really matter what primary you have as long as you have these mods. As always, these mods are just personal preference and you can replace any of them and tune this build to your own liking. But, let me explain first why I choose these mods. Since the enemies that are hit by the arrow are the only ones affected with status, I choose not to mod my nuke build with status mods. But you can choose to. If you really want status on your build, then you can replace primed fast hands and vigilante armaments with any 90% status mods. But I did add primed fast hands in here so I can spam my Artemis bow much faster and also, I added some multi-shot mods for more damage. I usually shoot arrows in close to medium range as I really don't have a problem with concentrated arrow. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Concentrated arrow doesn't have any self damage. So yes, you can shoot it up close and personal without worrying that you will be caught by the blast too. I also have heavy caliber for even more damage. Point strike for critical chance as we need this to make our hunt ammunitions proc more often. Now if you have an Idaza Kavat, I strongly suggest that you equip it as it does affect concentrated arrow. This kitty cat gives you more crit chance which basically gives you more proc chance for your hunter munitions. I did not mod my Kavat really well for this matter as I just need its buff. Survivability isn't really a problem as Ivara will turn this kitty invisible too once she activated her prowl. One last thing. Your navigator ability does help your concentrated arrow land those headshots. You can navigate the arrow but I don't usually do this stuff as my build is not that tuned towards the navigator ability. So that's how amazing Ivara's new augment is. Turning this awesome warframe into a nuke assassin. Best thing about this augment is it has no self damage which you can freely shoot those arrows without worrying about getting killed. It's really a fun augment for Ivara and I definitely suggest that you try it for yourself. As always, please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy watching this video. For those first timers here, you can join the grind team by simply clicking that big subscribe button below. Remember to turn on notification to receive daily updates from this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.